A solar car is a solar vehicle used for land transport. Solar cars usually run on only power from the sun, although some models will supplement that power using a battery, or use solar panels to recharge batteries or run auxiliary systems for a car that mainly uses battery power. Solar cars combine technology typically used in the aerospace, bicycle, alternative energy and automotive industries. The design of a solar vehicle is severely limited by the amount of energy input into the car. Most solar cars have been built for the purpose of solar car races. Some prototypes have been designed for public use, although no cars primarily powered by the sun are available commercially. Solar cars depend on a solar array that uses photovoltaic cells, PV cells to convert sunlight into electricity. Unlike solar thermal energy which converts solar energy to heat, PV cells directly convert sunlight into electricity. When sunlight photons strike PV cells, they excite electrons and allow them to flow, creating an electric current. PV cells are made of semiconductor materials such as silicon and alloys of indium, gallium and nitrogen. Crystalline silicon is the most common material used and has an efficiency rate of 15 to 20 percent. Topic: History. The first model solar car invented was a tiny 15-inch vehicle created by General Motors employee William G. Cobb. Called it the Sunmobile, he displayed it in 1955 at the Chicago, Powerama Convention. It was made up of 12 selenium photovoltaic cells and a small electric motor. <laughs> <laughs> Solar Array The solar array consists of hundreds of solar cells converting sunlight into electricity. In order to construct an array, PV cells are placed together to form modules which are placed together to form an array. The larger arrays in use can produce over 2 kW The solar array can be mounted in six ways. Horizontal this most common arrangement gives most overall power during most of the day in low latitudes or higher latitude summers and offers little interaction with the wind. Horizontal arrays can be integrated or be in the form of a free canopy. Vertical. This arrangement is sometimes found in free standing or integrated sails to harness wind energy. Useful solar power is limited to mornings, evenings, or winters and when the vehicle is pointing in the right direction. Adjustable. Free solar arrays can often be tilted around the axis of travel in order to increase power when the sun is low and well to the side. An alternative is to tilt the whole vehicle when parked. Two-axis adjustment is only found on marine vehicles, where the aerodynamic resistance is of less importance than with road vehicles. Integrated. Some vehicles cover every available surface with solar cells. Some of the cells will be at an optimal angle whereas others will be shaded. Trailer. Solar trailers are especially useful for retrofitting existing vehicles with little stability, e.g. bicycles. Some trailers also include the batteries and others also the drive motor. Remote. By mounting the solar array at a stationary location instead of the vehicle, power can be maximized and resistance minimized. The virtual grid connection however involves more electrical losses than with true solar vehicles and the battery must be larger. The choice of solar array geometry involves an optimization between power output, aerodynamic resistance and vehicle mass, as well as practical considerations. For example, a free horizontal canopy gives two to three times the surface area of a vehicle with integrated cells but offers better cooling of the cells and shading of the riders. There are also thin flexible solar arrays in development. 
Solar arrays on solar cars are mounted and encapsulated very differently from stationary solar arrays. Solar arrays on solar cars are usually mounted using industrial grade double sided adhesive tape right onto the car's body. The arrays are encapsulated using thin layers of Tedler. Some solar cars use gallium arsenide solar cells, with efficiencies around 30%. Other solar cars use silicon solar cells, with efficiencies around 20%. <laughs> == Batteries The battery pack in a typical solar car is sufficient to allow the car to go 250 miles 400 km without sun, and allow the car to continuously travel at speeds of 60 miles per hour 97 km per hour. Motors <inaudible> 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 The motors used in solar cars typically generate about 2 or 3 horsepower, yet experimental light solar cars may attain the same speed as a typical family car, 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour. Topic: Telemetry To keep the car running smoothly, the driver must monitor multiple gauges to spot possible problems. Cars without gauges almost always feature wireless telemetry, which allows the driver's team to monitor the car's energy consumption, solar energy capture and other parameters and thereby freeing the driver to concentrate on driving. Races. Two solar car races are the World Solar Challenge and the American Solar Challenge, overland road rally-style competitions contested by a variety of university and corporate teams. The World Solar Challenge features a field of competitors from around the world who race to cross the Australian continent, over a distance of 3,000 kilometres Speeds of the vehicles have steadily increased. So, for example, the high speeds of 2005 race participants led to the rules being changed for solar cars starting in the 2007 race and 2014 also. The American Solar Challenge, previously known as the North American Solar Challenge and Sunrace USA, features mostly collegiate teams racing in timed intervals in the United States and Canada. This race also changed rules for the most recent race due to teams reaching the regulated speed limits. The most recent American Solar Challenge took place from July 6 to the 22nd, 2018 from Omaha, Nebraska to Bend, Oregon. The Dell Winston School Solar Car Challenge is an annual solar-powered car race for high school students. The event attracts teams from around the world, but mostly from American high schools. The race was first held in 1995. Each event is the end product of a two-year education cycle launched by the Winston Solar Car Team. In odd-numbered years, the race is a road course that starts at the Dell Diamond in Round Rock, Texas. The end of the course varies from year to year. In even-numbered years, the race is a track race around the Texas Motor Speedway. Dell has sponsored the event since 2002. The South African Solar Challenge is a bi-annual two-week race of solar-powered cars through the length and breadth of South Africa. Teams will have to build their own cars, design their own engineering systems and race those same machines through the most demanding terrain that solar cars have ever seen. The 2008 race proved that this event can attract the interest of the public, and that it has the necessary international backing from the FIA. Late in September, all entrants will take off from Pretoria and make their way to Cape Town via the N1, then drive along the coast to Durban, before climbing the escarpment on their way back to the finish line in Pretoria ten days later. 
In 2008 the event was endorsed by International Solar Car Federation ISF, Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile FIA, World Wildlife Fund WWF, making it the first solar race to receive endorsement from these three organizations. There are other distance races, such as Suzuka, Fathon, WGC, WSR, JISFC, WSBR and the World Solar Rally in Taiwan. Suzuka and WGC is a yearly track race in Japan and Fathon was part of the Cultural Olympiad in Greece right before the 2004 Olympics. Speed record Guinness World Records recognize a land speed record for vehicles powered only by solar panels. This record is currently held by the Sky Ace Tiga from the Ashia University. The record of 91.332 km per hour, 56.75 miles per hour was set on 20 August 2014 at the Shimojishima Airport, in Miyakajima, Okinawa, Japan. The previous record was held by the University of New South Wales with the car Sunswift IV. Its 25 kg battery was removed so the vehicle was powered only by its solar panels. The record of 88.8 km per hour, 55.2 miles per hour was set on 7 January 2011 at the Naval Air Base HMAS Albatross in Nowra, breaking the record previously held by the General Motors car Sunracer of 78.3 km per hour, 48.7 miles per hour. The record takes place over a flying 500 meters, 1600 feet stretch and is the average of two runs in opposite directions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cars for public use. The first solar family car was built in 2013. Researchers at Case Western Reserve University, have also developed a better solar car which can recharge more quickly, due to better materials used in the solar panels. Chinese solar panel manufacturer Hainergy plans to build and sell solar cars equipped with lithium ion batteries to consumers in China. Hainergy says that five to six hours of sunlight should allow the car's thin film solar cells to generate between 8 to 10 kilowatt hours of power a day, allowing the car to travel about 80 kilometers 50 miles on solar power alone. Maximum range is about 350 kilometers 217 miles. In June 2019 the Solar Electric Lightyear 1 was announced. Designed by former engineers from Tesla and Ferrari, the car's hood and roof are composed of solar panels. The vehicle also charges on regular electric power as well as fast charging stations, and is expected to go into limited production in 2021. The cost will be over $150,000. See also List of solar car teams List of prototype solar-powered cars Electric boat Kit car The Quiet Achiever List of motorized trikes <laughs>